Hello, I'm Lucy from Colouring in the Midst of Madness and today I'm bringing you my first ever video comparison. This is going to be quite a challenge to film um, and I'm afraid it's going to be quite long, though it will be under 30 minutes because that's the longest my camera can actually film for. Um, some of the differences may not show up very well uh, because I have to change the contrast on my camera in order to um, pick up some of the detail and show the white as sort of actually white, um, but that means subtle differences don't necessarily get picked up. So I will still be doing my usual written post, which will include about a million photos, um, and those will show more accurately what it actually looks like in real life. So if you're concerned about anything I show you in the video and it's not showing any differences, uh, then do check out my written post, which will be in the description box uh, linked below, so that you can see exactly what the books look like sort of in comparison to each other. Now I found a lot of differences between these books. Um, it depends on how you count them up, but at the moment I've got a list of 31, which is the longest list I've ever found, um, and most of these don't affect the enjoyment of the book, they're just me being a complete perfectionist, um, and I know a lot of my readers really like to um, find out about the different publication differences, and so I've sort of included absolutely everything as I found. Um, there's only sort of two or three things that will actually affect the enjoyment of the book, and I will highlight those as we go through. So I will stop waffling um, and start on with the list. So on the left here we have the UK edition and on the right we have the US edition. And I'm sure just from looking at this you can see that there are a lot of differences. Um, so, well, you just wait. Anyway, so the first one is the book size. So this time neither of them are square. And I'll just line these up. The UK edition, which I've just got here on top, is ever so slightly smaller in both directions than the US edition and they are both the same height as their country's editions of other books so I'll just illustrate that so I've got the US edition of Johanna's Christmas here and you can see that that's the same height um, and That's also the same with the UK copy of both. Now the cover design is ever so slightly zoomed in on the UK copy, which I'm hoping you can see along the top here. There's just a little bit more design on the US copy, which is behind compared to the UK copy. Thirdly, we have got the little penguin logo on the US copy, and instead of that on the UK copy we have a little star. Then, now I'm not sure this is going to show up, but the colour of the covers is slightly different. So, the UK copy is bright white, and the US copy is ever so slightly off-white. It's not remotely cream or anything like that. It's just, it's just not bright white. Um, so there is a slight difference, but I think that will show up better in photos. Then one of the much more obvious differences is the foiling colour. So on the US copy, we have got gold and green, and it is super shiny foiling. And then on the UK copy, we've got this much more subtle, bronzy, sort of coppery colour, um, which is, well, both are lovely, um, but your preference, I'm sure, will all differ between you. Um, we've then got the foiling aspect and amount. So as you can see, there's loads and loads of foiling on the US copy, and there's a lot less on the UK copy. Um, so it is a lot more subtle, um, and yeah, there's, it's just different. Then, sorry for the pauses, I'm having to turn behind me because my computer list is next to me so that I don't forget all of these. So that's what all these pauses are for. Um, so number seven on the list, we're getting through these quite quickly, are the colour splashes. So we've got a beautiful mint green behind the text on the US copy and none on the UK. Then a really pedantic difference that I happen to notice, I'm, 
I'm kind of embarrassed that I noticed this, um, is capitalisation of text. So on the UK copy this subtitle is capitalised and on the US copy it isn't. Then we have got the spines and there are quite a lot of differences on something that is quite such a small part of the book. So again I don't know if this will pick it up but the US copy which is on the top has got blacker ink than the UK copy and on this UK copy we've got little bronze foiled accents throughout and there aren't any on the US. We've then got these two little motifs which differ so we've got a little butterfly on the UK copy and a lovely picture of ivy in side profile on the US copy. The US one also has the subtitle and that's been replaced by a little emblem of a key on the UK copy and then finally at the bottom we've got the publishing logos of the companies so we've got the penguin for the US and the virgin book symbol for the UK. Then we've got the thickness and I'm hoping you can see that they are really quite different thicknesses. Um, please excuse the bits sticking out, those are page markers for things that I need to show you later on. Um, so these books are much much thicker than the original other books by Joanna. So that's Joanna's Christmas to compare with. Um, and they're also different thicknesses from each other with the US edition being quite significantly thicker than the UK edition and it's the US one on top. They also weigh different amounts so the US copy is significantly heavier than the UK copy um, and it I think it weighs uh, 63 grams more. I did weigh them earlier, I'm sorry I'm not going to show you that on film um, but they weigh uh, 627 grams and 564 grams. So there's quite a difference um, and that is the paperweight which I will talk about a bit later. Um, then we go on to the blurb and please excuse the colour that's on here, that was me, it doesn't come like this, it comes completely black and white. So on here you can see that they are quite differently laid out. So the blurb on the UK cover is uh, a bit more concise um, and there is no information about Joanna which is this paragraph on the US copy. Um, we've also got the barcode uh, over part of the design here whereas here obviously it's included within this uh, space. Um, I'm just checking if there's anything else I need to be telling you about the blurb. No, it appears not. Um, so another difference on the covers and actually throughout the books is the spelling. So as I'm sure everybody knows, uh, UK English and US English spells a lot of things, it turns out, very differently. And I hadn't realised quite how many differences there were until I was going through this book with a fine tooth comb. Now the easiest way of uh, distinguishing between the books um, apart from how they look, is the spelling of the word colour. So the UK has a U in it and the US doesn't. Um, and the spelling for each country's edition is correct throughout. Um, so you, you will have words spelt in the correct way um, for your country's edition if you choose to purchase that. Uh, the next Thing actually isn't a difference but it is different from some of the other books so this is the dust jacket now we used to have removable dust jackets and actually this time we don't in either so it's just a card cover it's thick as you can hear um, and both books have French flaps which I'll show you in a moment and the US cover actually is I'm noticing a little bit thinner and bendier than the UK cover. Um, so the next bit is the cover attachment to the book. So when I open this up you will hopefully see up here, I'm hoping this is in focus, that it's obviously attached to the front and to the back of the book. Now on the UK copy we have 
um, a folded sort of score line front and back which means that the book opens really nice and flat. Now unfortunately we don't actually have that on the US and the cover is actually glued to a fair bit more of the page than on the UK copy as you can hopefully see if I get it in shot, sorry. Um, so it means that when you're opening it it doesn't open quite as far and it does mean that when we're opening up some of these pages it can be quite tight until you sort of break the spine and I personally hate breaking spines um, but I think it might be a bit of a necessary evil. Um, so that gets us onto the binding. Sorry, it's like musical chairs with these books. So I'm hoping you can see that the US copy, which is at the top, is glue bound and the UK copy at the bottom is stitch and glue bound. So it's done in these sections. This means that it's a lot more durable um, and it also tends to mean that it opens up quite a bit wider without needing to crack the spine. Now I've had my US copy a fair bit longer than the UK copy but if you look at the spine it's already really quite creased and I've only actually coloured one image from this book um, and that is because of the binding and you will need to be very careful if you get a US copy because the pages can become loose in glue bindings um, and obviously you don't want the story falling apart so you will need to be quite careful if you do decide to buy the US copy. So the next difference is the French flaps so I'll just put these back to where they were right so for those of you that don't know these little bits on the insides of covers are called French flaps and I'm hoping that you can see that the design is printed a bit bigger on the US copy which is this one on the right um, and it's also taken from a slightly different section of the image so we've got much more of this cup and much less of the spoon than on here on the UK copy. Now the, um, the insides of all of these covers and everything are fully colourable on both editions and um, they're not waxy like previous books have been um, so you can use alcohol markers and um, that was also testing on the back of my US edition. Um, they don't bleed as long as you're careful but do be really careful because obviously it would be horrible to have shadowing and bleeding where you don't want it. So the next difference is the title page size. So I'm just going to swap these so you can see them. So on the left we've got the UK edition and on the right we've got the US. I'm just going to straighten these up. Um, the UK edition's image is just over a centimetre shorter and narrower than the US edition which I'm hoping you can see here. Um, I will show pictures on my blog with a ruler so I can prove it um, but I don't think you want to sit through me doing that now. Um, another teeny tiny difference is this little emblem here which is much smaller on the UK edition and larger on the US edition. Yes I really did get that detailed whilst doing this and obviously we've got the different publishers here. Um, so the next thing is the paper which I'm really not sure if it will show up um, but I'm really really hoping it has. So there is a different paper in each edition and these were all changed over when Joanna brought out Magical Jungle so we've had the new papers in Magical Jungle, Joanna's Christmas and now Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. Now the US paper, which is this one, was created for Joanna's books and it's the one that's named after her. So this is the Joanna Basford paper. It's a slightly creamy colour. I will just show you against, uh, not Lost Ocean, Enchanted Forest. So it's nothing like as yellow as Enchanted Forest or Secret Garden. Um, and it's a beautiful ivory colour and this is the same paper as was used in Magical Jungle and Joanna's Christmas in the US. This UK paper was also new for Magical Jungle and Joanna's Christmas in the UK um, and so this is the same paper as those um, and this was found 
uh, by Joanna and her team in a global search. Um, they scoured the globe for this beautiful paper um, and it's a it's a little bit whiter which I'm really hoping that you can see. Um, so it has quite a fine tooth, um, pens don't spread or anything like that on it um, the, for the same as the Joanna Busford paper as well. Uh, pencils work well on both but I would say that they work quite a bit better on the Joanna Busford paper than the uh, UK paper. Um, it does take more layers, the US paper. Um, neither of them bleed or shadow with water-based pens. Uh, they will bleed with alcohol markers, so I'd seriously uh, avoid using those. Um, but, yeah, the, the US paper is thicker, so both are thick. Um, the UK paper is just as thick as Enchanted Forest and Secret Garden, um, but this is thicker. They probably both sound the same. That's a really silly test. Um, but never mind, you, I've done it now. Um, so yeah, I I really like the colour of the UK paper, but for the colouring experience, I generally prefer the US paper. Um, so that's sort of the one that I would recommend, especially as Joanna went to so much effort uh, creating it. So the next thing is the introduction. So I'll just swap these pages over. To show you. So on this page um, the UK text is uh, aligned centrally and China's signature is there centrally and on the US edition we've got it centrally aligned and justified to the edges and Joanna's, Joanna's signature is off to the right. Um, these colouring tips have got different icons so there are little leaves in the UK copy and little flowers in the US copy. Um, and the text seems to be a fair bit smaller in the UK copy. However, that's only on this page. It's not actually the case for the rest of the book. Um, so the next difference is the text layout. Now this is quite strange. It, as far as I can see, the text is the same font size in both books. But because the UK copy is a little bit smaller, it means that the there we go uh, the layout is slightly different um, because the gap in the image is ever so slightly smaller in some of the UK images, but not all of them. So I'll just show you what I mean. So on this page, at first glance, they look identical. But they're actually not because, as you'll see on this line, they start and end on different words. Um, and this only happens on some of the pages through the book, but I thought it worth mentioning. Um, that, yeah, the, the text seems to be the same font, same size throughout, but it is laid out ever so slightly differently. Um, though it is always in the same places in the book and in the images. Um, it just takes up a little bit more space in the UK copy. As you can see, it's very close to this little B and a little bit less space in the US copy. Um, also, I thought it worth noting, uh, so we're up to number 24, so don't worry, we haven't got too much longer left. Um, the image quality, so there were issues in uh, Magical Jungle in the UK with pixelation, and I will try and find an image that was affected. Also, I can't find one now. So I don't know if this is going to pick up and again I will put pictures on my blog but when you look really really closely there is some slight pixelation on the image um, which there wasn't on the US copy. I am very pleased to inform you that that is not the case in the UK copy this time and all of the lines are just as crisp in that copy as they are in the US. So that's really good news. Um, as always, because the US copy is slightly bigger, some of the images, but certainly not all, are printed slightly bigger. So 
This is one of the examples, as was the title page. So this picture of Ivy is ever so slightly bigger. I think it was about six millimetres when I checked um, than this one in the UK edition. This isn't the case throughout at all. Um, so don't go getting excited thinking the images are going to be giant. They're not. But if you have got any visual or fine motor control impairments, then I would really suggest getting the US copy because you've just got that extra bit of wiggle room which I think would really help. Um, so the next thing is image orientation. I'm not sure that that's even the right word but it was the best thing to give me a clue. So Underneath we've got the US edition and on top we've got the UK edition. So when we're looking down this side of the image, if you look at this little box, it's right up to the edge of the page, whereas here we've got quite a big gap. So on a few of the pages, generally it's the full double page spreads, there is a little bit more image added to the US edition when compared to the UK edition. This really doesn't affect the enjoyment at all. Um, it's just something I noticed and I thought it worth mentioning because I like to pick up on all of the differences. Um, so yeah, there there is a little bit of extra image on some of the US images. Um, then we've got a very, very few text alterations, which I found really interesting. Um, so, on this page, move it so you can see it, you will see that there are no thens at the beginning of these sentences, but there are here. Um, and this one, I think I've swapped them, sorry, this is the UK edition and this is the US edition. Now this only happens on a very, very few pages, I think it might be sort of three, um, but again, I just thought it worth noting. Um, now, the only niggly difference that I found, um, and I'm afraid to say there is one in each book, were typos. Um, and I'm really sorry for finding these, Joanna, please forgive me. Um, so, on this page, in the UK copy, we've got the word clothes instead of cloths. Um, and actually it is correct in the US edition. Oddly, they are different typos in the different books. Um, and in the US copy, we have got uh, from a cord, which shouldn't have an H in it. Um, it should just be cord as in a rope, which is what they're talking about in the story. Um, but at least there's one in each, so it won't put you off getting one, because they both got a typo, so nobody's left out. Uh, then we have got the printing location, which you probably don't need to see, um, but the US copy is printed in the United States of America and the UK copy is printed in China. So we've had them printed in Italy in the past and I know there have been some dodgy Chinese versions, but actually this one is beautiful and we don't have the issue with the pixelation this time which is wonderful. So we're down to the last two differences. Um, so here, so I've got the UK copy on top and the US copy underneath. Um, I'm going to lift this up so you can actually see. So I tested the, um, no I'm not because I can't get close enough. You'll have to look at the pictures in, uh, on my blog but I tested the ink permanency. Um, which just means how much it moves when you colour really hard over it. So the first test here was a Derwent blender pencil, then the middle one was a Derwent burnishing pencil, and then this one was a Caran d'Ache full splendor blender pencil, I think it's called, um, which is my personal favourite blending pencil because it's really nice and soft and it works with oil and wax and it's just fantastic. Um, anyway, as you can see, they both performed pretty similarly. Um, the worst reaction was with the Derwent Blender Pencil, which is a really hard and quite scratchy pencil. 
um, and you can see on the US copy it has moved a bit of the pigment. Um, so my suggestion based on this would be don't worry about it, it's really not a massive issue. Um, but it does mean that when you're colouring quite hard with pencils it might transfer some of the image. So I would suggest putting some paper behind your work. Um, the transfer is always erasable um, but that's just a pain. So I would suggest putting some paper behind your work um, and just being a little bit careful if you're using a Derwent Blender pencil because it does kind of pull the pigment in. Um, however, you can see that the Caran Dash Blender worked actually really quite well. Um, so I'd recommend getting one of those for this book, if nothing else. Um, so we have come to the end, apart from the final difference, which I suddenly remembered at the end of uh, writing this post, um, which is the publication date. Um, so in the US... The book publishes on the 10th of October and in the UK we have to wait two more days until the 12th of October until it publishes. Um, so that might well sway your decision. Um, in terms of which book I would recommend or which book I prefer, there's not an awful lot in it um, because there aren't very many fundamental differences that affect use. So I prefer the paper in the US edition. Um, it's definitely thicker, it will cope better with wet media um, and I personally find it better for pencils as well. Um, so I would suggest that one. I'd also suggest that one for anyone with any vision or fine motor control impairments um, because you've got a little bit of extra room in some of the images which is always really, really handy. Um, in terms of spelling, if you're a perfectionist like I am, then you'll want the spelling that matches your country. Um, so that's great if you're in the US, but slightly niggly if you're in the UK. Um, so personally, I would always probably get both. Um, I've certainly purchased copies of both editions um, in the past of the books because they've always got different merits. Um, and then I use different media in each, depending on what the paper's better for. Um, so if you really can't decide, then don't just have one of each. Um, but hopefully... This comparison has helped you sort of see what's similar and what's different um, so that you really know what you're getting. Um, and yeah, I, th I think that's all of it really. Um, obviously the covers look completely different. You may want the coloured version, um, which is very lovely. You may also want to get the one that matches previous books, which obviously there have been coloured elements on the US editions, well, the US edition of Joanna's Christmas, um, whereas it's always been sort of bronzy, goldy foiling in the UK. Um, one thing I didn't mention about the spines I've just remembered is the UK spines are normally black with white text, and this time actually both are white with black text. So in terms of getting one to match on the shelf in the UK, I'm afraid you can't. Um, however, I will just show you my selection of UK copies. It does still look really nice with them. So let's just pop that here. So it's really not a problem that it's white. Um, and obviously you have got the difference of the fact that you've got sort of four or five centimetres uh, narrower on the sides because it's not square. And that's the case with both books. So I will leave it there. I hope you have. I hope I haven't bored you all to tears. Um, and I hope that all of this is in focus and that you can see all of the colour differences. Um, do check out the link in the description where there are going to be heaps and heaps of photos. I've not taken those yet, I'll be doing them tomorrow. Um, I may be at it all day. Um, but yeah, let me know what you thought of this comparison, which book you'll be getting and why. Um, and please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because this has taken me forever to do. Um, I've literally been working on it for four days straight. Um, so I need to get colouring again. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!